gender equality requires the engagement of women, men, girls and boys. It's everyone's responsibility. Women's Equality Day is celebrated every year on the 26th of August since 1973 after the 19th Amendment of the United States Constitution came into force. This amendment ensures voting rights for everyone regardless of their gender. Now, it has become an international celebration and women across the world celebrate this day with pride. We too, as young girls of Sophia High School and future women of the world, observe this significant day as we not only express our gratitude but take pride in our foundress of the Notre Dame community, St. Julie Billiard. She started her vocation by educating girls and ever since the sisters of the Notre Dame community have carried on this legacy where they with commitment not only help us girls attain academic excellence but also provide a conducive environment and opportunities which will help us face the world with the pride of being born a girl. On this day, we celebrate our principals and teachers who have dedicated their lives in providing thousands of girls who have passed through these portals a very valuable lesson in life, that nothing can dim the light that shines within you. Thus, passing on the education legacy in the form of one of the cornerstones primarily being the human dignity of each person as an image of God. Here, we are given that opportunity and encouraged that women's equality should be something that we should work for until it's attained globally. They have instilled in us hope faith and courage that we shall be able to overcome all the obstacles we face in our day-to-day -day lives while still maintaining our dignity and status quo. With the firm foundation on equality, we, the students of Standard 12 Science, present to you an assembly on Women's Equality Day, celebrating you and me. The reason this day holds importance even in today's modern world is because women still face so many problems such as gender discrimination, where women are paid much less than their male counterparts for the same amount of working hours. Women also face domestic violence and workplace harassment. Crimes against women have shown an upward trend. In particular, brutal crimes such as rape, dowry deaths and honor killings. We also face sexism in our day-to-day -day lives. These are issues that need to be tackled. And in circumstances like this, let us remember the poems written by Maya Angelou, a celebrated poet and a civil activist who beautifully wrote in two of her poems. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust I'll rise, because I am a phenomenal woman. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round And you can't find a fighter But I see it in you so we can walk it out Ooh. We gon' walk it out and move on days And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand eight times again And I'll rise Yes, today let us listen to some of these phenomenal women who will be our inspiration as we tread along life's journey with the obstacles that come in our path. Michelle Obama. Almost every person has heard of her and rightfully so. The former first lady has done quite a bit in her term from creating her own legacy, Let Girls Learn which aimed at educating the 62 million girls around the world who aren't in school 
to openly calling out sexist politicians. Michelle Obama has never bowed down from voicing her opinions on the importance of women's equality and in doing so has become the voice of many. She has been termed a feminist icon and serves as an inspiration for all. Sarojini Naidu, also known as the Nightingale of India, besides being a prominent figure in Indian politics, she was also known for her lyrical poems. She had played an important role in the struggle for women's rights in India. She helped in shaping the Women's Indian Association in 1970 with Annie Basant and a few others. During this period, between 1915 to 1918, she traveled to different regions in India to lecture on women's rights, social welfare of women, and nationalism. This was of great importance because women in those days were looked down on. Jane Austen Jane Austen is one of the greatest realistic novelists of the 19th century. All of her six novels concerning love and marriage truly reflect the women of her age. They also reveal her feminine consciousness in the form of profound implications. In her novels, many female characters were not portrayed to be inferior to men but were shown that they deserved to share equal rights with them. She believed her novels to be important to society and of great value to women. Austen wrote in such a way that would do more than entertain her readers. She wrote novels that would impact them, challenge them and force them to see the growth that their society needed. This made them question how that growth would take place. Austen saw the potential impact of a story containing a female protagonist who dared to go against a society in which she lived. Whether she knew the impact that her stories would still have in today's society or not will remain a mystery. However, what she did know was that her novels would serve as a wake-up call for her readers. Emma Watson described equality of women as the belief that men and women have equal rights and opportunities. It is a theory of the political, economic and social equality of sexes. She was appointed as a UN Women Goodwill Ambassador in 2014 and served as an advocate for UN Women's He for She campaign that promotes gender equality. At just 24 years of age, Emma had already been involved in the promotion of girls' education for several years and previously visited Bangladesh and Zambia as part of a humanitarian efforts. She has worked to promote fair trade and organic clothing and served as an ambassador for Camfet International, a movement to educate girls in rural Africa. Malala, who defied Taliban's ban on girls going to school, said she realized that education was not just about reading books, but about the empowerment of women. At age 17, she became the youngest person to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. On accepting the award, she said that this was not just for her. It was for all those forgotten children who want education. It was for all those frightened children who want peace. For her, gender equality is something that should not be objected. Today, the Malala Fund is an organization that empowers young children to achieve their potential and become strong and independent leaders in their own country. Funding education projects in six countries and working with international leaders, the Malala Fund joins local partners to invest in innovative solutions and advocates globally for quality secondary education for all girls. These leaders have indeed passed on from generation to generation that women have started to embark on this journey that would establish themselves no inferior to their male counterparts. So today, we the privileged lot stand on this foundation laid by the women from our past and our present. On this blessed day, we pray for all the women. Bless them, Lord, with abundant joy and good health. We specially pray for those women who are hurt by this world. May our presence strengthen them. May they find refuge in your word. 
God, grace into the hearts of women and girls who have been abused, stifled from discovering their gifts, deprived of safety, cast out of their homes, starved of companionship and betrayed by the ones they trust. May women around the world be the masters of their future, not held back by the shackles of society. Give them courage, guidance and will to fight their battles every day. We beseech you to bless those around us. May their hearts be cleansed and may they treat all those women around them with dignity and respect. This we ask in your holy name. Amen. Staring at the edge of the water long as I can remember Never really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect dog